enough. No! Now, you, you really are prepared to lose your leg. You are quite the remarkable. Huh. Back off, both of you. Hmm. You remind me of a story. An urban legend, perhaps. But... You know, about seven years ago, I was doing some, um, some freelance work, shall we call it, for the agency in Cairo. There was a great deal of chatter about a, a senior member of the Palestinian Authority who was coming into town for a sit-down chit-chat with some Egyptian ministers. And the word on the street was that he was to be housed in an impenetrable government-owned fortress. Now you can guess what happened. It was a massive bomb. But it was set on the inside of the building. <laughs> Little birdie told me that the CIA had struck a deal Letting Mossad borrow an incredibly talented and creative entry specialist. She, uh, for yes, indeed, it was a woman, was the very best in the world at penetrating the most impenetrable places and then poof, disappearing without a trace. I'll admit, the story has always fascinated me. It's heroine and it's, um, it's ultimate tragedy, for her blast did not kill its intended target, but instead it claimed the lives of his three sweet young children and their poor mother. He, amazingly, escaped with only minor injuries. I've often thought about that female operative. You know, what went wrong, do you think? Was it, uh, was it poor intelligence, shoddy equipment, or just plain bad fucking luck? Did she feel any remorse? Or did she manage to compartmentalize the, the death of the mother and her three children? Perhaps as a, a man might have done. Anyway, the long and the short of it was that the CIA dropped her as quickly as the proverbial hot brick. She threatened to go all Edward Snowden on them, and they retaliated by spinning her as a double agent slash terrorist. Oh, how the mighty fall. What do you think, Alexis? Do you think such a mythical creature could possibly exist? As we boy, the demons she must carry. Now, I'm going to take a different tack here. So I could always go back and Finish that other business. Kevin's wife. Little Matthew in his jammies. You know. <laughs>